But we begin with breaking news. Interim Michigan State University President John Engler expected to step down. The move coming just a few days after Engler's controversial comments to the Detroit News Editorial Board. He said NASA survivors were, quote, enjoying the spotlight while the university is trying to go back to work. That prompted the board to call for his resignation or get fired. One member saying on social media, Angler's reign of terror is over. Seven investigator Ross Jones has been covering the fallout at MSU for the last two years. And Ross, we appear to be in store for even more. That's right, Alan. John Engler was brought in to clean up the mess at MSU. Instead, he created new ones, lots of them. Now we know the least popular man on campus is on his way out. Be assured that I will move forward as if my own daughters were on this campus and will treat every survivor and every student as I would my own daughter. It's hard to believe that this is how the John Engler era at Michigan State began. Less than a year ago, he was hired to lead his alma mater through the most tumultuous period in its history. Few thought things at MSU could get worse, but Engler spent the next year proving that they could. Just this Friday came arguably his most offensive comments. In an interview with the Detroit News, Ingler referred to Nasser's abuse survivors who have been in the spotlight, still enjoying that moment. You know, the awards and recognition. It's ending. It's almost done. For his statements like that we are enjoying the spotlight um, are just absolutely degrading. Uh, he's the one that needs the end. Friday's comments were just the latest in a tenure marred by a callousness towards sexual abuse victims. You made no offer of money, as she very specifically said she did. No, I was not doing settlement negotiations with one plaintiff. The first controversy, Ingler's alleged private offer to survivor Kaylee Lorenz, $250,000 to make her claim against MSU go away. Ingler denied it ever happened, even when questioned by Congress. Are you saying Silly. that she lied when she made that comment? I've just, I've said publicly we have very different recollections. Then an email was revealed showing Ingler said survivor Rachel Den Hollander, the first woman to publicly accuse Nasser of abuse, had received a kickback from her attorneys. Eight days after the email was revealed, Ingler finally said sorry. I was wrong and I apologize. Then Ingler moved to close the university's healing fund, $10 million set aside to pay for the therapy and recovery of Nasser's victims. With Ingler's reign as interim president coming to an end, perhaps now, say survivors, can the healing actually begin. It means that there is hope for us on the horizon and that maybe Michigan State is finally starting to get it um, because with him at the top, they were never going to get it. So where is John Ingler today? Well, sources say he is actually out of state in Virginia for a family memorial service and he is not expected to be at tomorrow's meeting. Of course, we will be and we'll be streaming it live on WXYZ.com and our Facebook page starting at 8 a.m. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. And that healing so important, Ross. It needs to begin. Thank you.